Welcome back to the Google Guru. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the email quarantine. This is a really cool new feature in the admin console that allows admins to decide which emails contain inappropriate content and those emails will be quarantined before they ever make it to the recipient and it's up to the admin to decide whether the email will make it to its recipient or if it's inappropriate and will be rejected. So the first step is to go to apps, Google apps, Gmail, then scroll down and click advanced settings. So if we scroll down here, we can get to objectionable content, which is under compliance. And we'll click configure. And here's where we can decide which words we deem to be objectionable. So first we'll decide a title for these. And then we can decide which messages we want this to affect. For this, we will just apply the setting to internal communication, so emails between users on the same domain. Now we can decide which words we want to be blocking. So for this one, we will decide that the word bad. Any email with the word bad will go into the quarantine, and then it'll be up to us to decide whether it makes it to its intended recipient. Let's click Save. And then where it says modify message, we'll change this to quarantine message. And it will just go into the default quarantine. You can create multiple quarantines, which I'll show you how to make later. And now we'll add setting. Click save changes. So now let's test this out. We're going to send an email to someone else on our domain that contains the word bad. Okay, now we will send this email. And to view your quarantined emails, you will have to navigate to email-quarantine.google.com slash admin review. And as you can see here, we found the email that I sent from the Guru account to another user on the domain. And it's caught in this quarantine, so the recipient never received that email. And what we can do is we can check this box and decide whether to allow the email to be sent or we can deny it and the email will not ever make it to its recipient. So we'll click allow. So that is how a quarantine works. Now I'll show you how to create your own custom quarantine so you don't always have to use the default one. So you can have different quarantines with different rules. So we'll go back into the admin console and we'll go to apps, Google apps, Gmail, then we'll scroll down, click manage quarantines. And here you can see we get the default one already, but if we'd like to create another one, click Add, and you can choose whether this quarantine is going to send a rejection message when someone sends an email that is caught by the quarantine, or if it will just drop the message in the quarantine without sending any sort of rejection message. We'll call this one Objectionable Content, and click Save. And now the next time you are choosing which words will trigger which quarantine, you can choose this new quarantine as one of the locations that those emails will be routed to. I hope you have found this helpful, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you, and have a great day.